Hello, good morning everyone. Today we will be discussing about diagenesis. Diagenesis include all the process, the physical, chemical and biological changes that happens to the sedimentary rock after its deposition. So it involves a series of process from reducing the volume by means of compression, by changing the mineralogy or the structure of the minerals to form new orthogenic minerals and dissolution at the grain boundaries and lithification of the rock. All these aspects to be discussed in detail. So let's discuss more about the process called diagenesis. Diagenesis in the broadest sense it encompasses all the process that modify a sediment after its deposition. It is the physical, chemical and biological process which bring as I've mentioned compaction, recrystallization, dissolution, replacement and the formation of orthogenic minerals, cementation and other modifications to the original sediment and finally form a sedimentary rock. Diagenesis starts after the deposition of sediments and by the process called biogenic reworking of unconsolidated sediment or cementation of grains at or near the sediment water interface because the sediment and water reaching at an interface where the water having lot of soluble ions and that may cause the cementation. This is followed by higher pressures and temperatures and the changed pore water compositions. When we talk about changed pore water composition, it is the change in composition by addition of ions from the chemical weathering of the parent rock. It continues throughout the burial and may extend into uplift stage when a sediment pile is uplifted after burial. So the diagenesis happens at an early stage that is at shallower depth and an intermediate stage at a greater depth and at late stage even during the process of upliftment. The sediment that has been deposited and buried at greater depth may be uplifted due to tectonic activity. So even then the process diagenesis acting on the sediments. A distinction is made between early diagenetic events taking place from the sedimentation until shallow burial and late diagenetic events which occurs during the deep burial and subsequent uplift. So the whole of the diagenesis is divided into two classes on a broad sense as early diagenetic event and late diagenetic event. In late diagenetic event you have deep burial and later on the upliftment process. During the early stages of diagenesis sediments undergo compaction and resulting expulsion of water, also thinning of beds and reduction in porosity. Subsequent modification may include cementation by various minerals such as quartz and carbonates, formation of other orthogenic minerals including clay minerals and dissolution of less stable minerals. The net effect of diagenetic modifications is to move initially incompatible assemblages of siliciclastic minerals towards condition of chemical equilibrium with the diagenetic environment. So the incompat incompatible assemblages of minerals will be removed from the system and those minerals which are in chemical equilibrium with the new diagenetic environment will sustain. So with this we complete the introduction about diagenetic process. Thank you.